we then play our mystic reflection and we're good to go we got ourselves three more titan of industries shield counters and four fours all day shield counters four fours shield counters four fours you love to see it but when phylath enters the field we instant speed mystic reflection the horror and we got ourselves a really peculiar situation here because we now have five hole breaker horrors <laughs> oh let's go five hole breaker horrors with the size of denial in hand feels pretty darn good what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today is monday and i decided we are going to kick this week off with some jank but not just any jank we're playing some super jank we are trying to resolve upwards to double digits of titan of industry and holebreaker horror at one time in our games today so the jank levels are high to say the least but i'll let uh napa and vegeta explain just how high vegeta what does the scouter say about his jank level it's over 9,000! What 9,000? That's right. The jank levels are through the roof on this one. Oh, man. You guys you guys know that guy. Everyone knows that guy who tells a joke, and he's the only one laughing at his own joke. I feel like that's me sometimes, but you know what? We spent time on that, so I was, re I was playing that regardless. <laughs> but anyways, today's list is a lot of fun, and uh, we've got some really really intense jank today because i'm going to be playing two versions of the same deck in one video but i'm gonna break this thing down in full and show you just how it works in a moment here but if you're new here and you find any value in today's video if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button is a free way to help support and grow the channel and i would greatly appreciate it with that being said let's get to the explanation because it's kind of it's kind of weird but um we were talking with um some people in the comments getting some ideas and somebody had mentioned i will put their name here um i'll have to go back and look but i'll put their name here on who it was exactly but somebody had mentioned that they wanted me to play the phylath here as a way to copy things with mystic reflection now they had another idea about how to go about it but i really wanted to do it with titan of industry and Holebreaker Horror. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to choose as my top end, but I decided to play both today in, in the video. You're going to see some games where I copy the Titan. You're going to see some games where I copy the Holebreaker. Both games were phenomenal and a lot of fun. But basically how this works is we're trying to get a Titan of Industry resolved onto the battlefield. And then the follow-up turn, we're going to play a Phylath, which is going to come into the battlefield and spit out an absorbent amount of plants uh, that are O ones. And these plants are gonna become copies of the industry because of Mystic Reflection. That's how the deck essentially works. So we got a bit of a control shell to get there, some ramp cards, things like that. Um, but that is the idea of the deck. So hopefully we can resolve, you know, like I said, you know, five to upwards to 10 Titan of Industries at one single time, depending on how many basic lands we can get with the Phylath. So how are we going to do that? Well, kicking things off, we actually are running a lot of basics, just FYI, because that is one of the requirements of Phylath is that the uh, lands have to be basic um, in order to get the O1 plants. Because if you read it, it just says when uh, enters a battlefield to create O1 green plant for um, each basic land you control. We learned that the hard way to kind of play testing this deck out. Um, but we have a really cool card here uh, in You Happen on a Glade. I've been playing this card uh, more often lately i've actually just recently tried it and i really do enjoy this card a lot it's a good way to grab a couple of basic lands if you need them to keep your mana flowing but also you can go ahead and return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand which is super helpful if things do end up dying and you need to recover them later like if the titan does resolve but then dies and you can't do your combo you can go ahead and pull it back and try it again later uh, we've got some sweepers because we are going to be again trying to build up to a large mana pool to get this combo off so burn down the house is a good sweeper to kind of keep you alive and uh, we've got memory deluge to find some cards if we need them and in an early game we've been running into a lot of aggro like boros and stuff like that so uh, cath uh cathartic pyre is a good way to just deal with that you know three damage but also it's a great way to get through your cards quickly to find your pieces because we're we're essentially assembling like an, an exodia right so we need all three pieces in order to hit the combo so the Cathartic Pyre giving you the option to draw two cards is really, really nice. Um, Expressive Iteration, obviously another no-brainer to find some cards, which is really helpful. And then uh, I really, really love Decisive Denial. I find like this card is very, very good in a lot of spots. It counters so many different things. Um, Non-creature spells a pretty wide variety. It acts as basically a negate. 
um, but they have to pay three in order to play the spell. But also, if you get a big creature down like the Titan and you start fighting things, it can get really, really good for you in the late game as well. And then lastly, we have Prismari Command as another way to uh, get through your cards, but also generate some treasures to help you ramp up to your bigger plays. Um, that's the deck in a nutshell. Like I said, um, we're going to give you guys this list uh, down below in the description, but you're going to see that I'm going to replace the Titan of Industry with Holebreaker Horror as a top end and a creature for us to copy. This one might actually be a little bit easier to copy and get the combo off. And the reason for that is because Holebreaker Horror can flash itself in on the end step of your opponent's turn and you can go straight into the copy, which is pretty cool. Um, but a lot of times you're not going to have so like you're not going to have 20 targets to bounce. So you kind of lose a little bit of value in the uh, the bouncing effects. Um, and at the same time, too, um, the Titan does protect itself with a shield counter. So you get a little bit of give and take on both of these things here. But you're going to see me play both versions of the deck and uh, we pop off with both. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're going to get into the gameplay footage now and uh, we'll see you guys out here uh, at, back here at the end for some final thoughts. We'll see you guys there. Peace. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic start of your week. We are running some uh, jank to start the week off. And my chair's not, my chair's like broken or something. All right, uh, we're running some jank though. We're kicking things off with Titan of Industry. We're gonna try to copy it uh, an ungodly amount of times. <laughs> and it uh, should be a lot of fun, man. Should be a lot of fun. We, we, uh, we wanna try to do this with the Titan and also maybe even the, uh, Hole breaker horror would be pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go here. Can't let that resolve, unfortunately, because it's just gonna get him too much value down the road. Get that out of there. Maybe we don't have to use the soaring city as a land. We'll see. Innkeeper. That's not as bad. All right, I mean, we will have to use the Soaring City, unfortunately. Uh, Prismari Command the Innkeeper away. Let's see what else they play here, though. Might be a better target, but I doubt it's going to have two toughness, or it's going to be a lot bigger than that, I would assume. <clears throat> okay, well, that is still an issue, though, because if we allow this Innkeeper to attack, they just get more creatures so we can't let that rabble rousing go off here unfortunately we got to kill the innkeeper with the prismari command which is a little bit low value but we are getting to the titan of industry which hopefully we can get to and blow this sucker up all right put that in our hand we'll foretell the mystic reflection which is a fine play right now just get that out of the way <clears throat> and then Titan hopefully comes in and then we find a Phylath and then we're golden, man. I mean, we've, we've got the the whole shebang from there. Um, This is nice. Put this in our hand, maybe. Let's put this in our hand. Put this back in the deck. We'll play you out. We don't want to lose it, so we might as well play it. <clears throat> And, uh, probably going to play it as a land, though, if I'm being honest. If, uh, if we get the Titan out next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, we play a Titan. That's fine. They're really building up these Rabble Rousings, which is good for us. It's just going to, unfortunately, blow up right in their face when we play the Titan and blow them up. They're not going to be very happy about it. That's for sure. And then all we got to find now is a Phylath, and we've got ourselves... A, a crazy amount of titans. Um, do it like that. Jetmir. That doesn't have haste, does it? It does not. Jetmir does not have haste. Let's go with this and we'll probably try to play a burn down the house here. Um, let's put this in our hand, this back in the deck, but you out. And burn down the house is just fine here. Those are all gone. They're, they're unable to really get anything going here. 
Uh, if they activate the den, the bugbear could really hurt us with the rabble rousing, uh, creating more threats. So let's just leave the industry back as a blocker for the den of the bugbear. Not give them any good options here. Unfortunately, the, the, uh, their Nihilist is really cool, but it's just unfortunately not enough to get the job done. We're, we're probably going to end the game here with this next play, unfortunately. All right, burn down the house, takes care of that. And now we've got ourselves uh, decisive denial as well. Uh, still just protecting ourselves from this. Um, I'm, I'm really just trying to uh, wait till we get another Titan down, blow up the rabble rousing and that ends that. Unfortunate for our opponent there, bad matchup for them. I can't wait for this, uh, for one of these games in this video to actually go off the way I intend for it to. It's going to be insane. If we can make it happen, man, it is going to be insane. All right, this is definitely a keepable hand. We have Prismari Command going first. We can, you know, obviously do a lot with the Prismari Command. We could sift through some cards here. Get a little bit of a uh, different looks. Hopefully we can find a uh, Mystic Reflection off the top here would be the best pull. Nope. Iteration. Also a fine card though. Demir Colors. Is this Esper? Aggro maybe? I don't know. It is Esper. Okay. A Foretell, which could mean... Which could mean Doomscar, I would assume, or that's what I would normally assume. Um, Behold the Multiverse has been popping up lately, though. So has Saw It coming. I hope that's not the case if it's Saw It coming. But either way, if you foretell something, you are probably running counter spells in your deck. So we got to be on the lookout for that. Uh, you can go. They didn't hold any priority there over us, uh, which was interesting when we played that. So something to consider going forward i think i'm gonna play the mem uh, memory deluge here control decks are interesting man we haven't seen any control decks in a long time honestly on this uh on the arena i've, I've really haven't run into any in a long long time all right they did take damage for that which means that they're planning on doing a memory deluge themselves i would assume I would assume. All right, we got the Mystic Reflection foretold. Now we just need the Phylath and we need the Titan and we're good to go. This is that matchup that I really would rather have a Kraken if I could flash in a Kraken and then copy that a million times. That would be really funny. Uh, and pretty much impossible for them to beat. The Titan, more likely it's gonna get exiled, unfortunately. So we do need to find Decisive Denial. Okay, they took the damage from this and they didn't even play anything. I don't know if that was a mistake or what. I mean, they're giving us so much time to set up though for our, our big end game. So I'll take it. There's a Phylath. Um, higher can definitely go. One iteration maybe can go. We'll probably need the Glade here to recover any sort of creature that gets killed. Like... Um, our Titan of Industry or whatever. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go with another one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll probably go with another Memory Deluge here, which will eat one of our treasures up. I probably should have played the um, Expressive Iteration, but it just uh, slipped my mind and I played the land. Okay. Seems like a low value Sunset Revelry, if you ask me. But hey, I mean, if they're giving us this much time and we're able to cast Memory Deluge from the uh, flashback position, there's almost no shot we don't get the combo off, right? It's like... All right, let's see if we can get the Titan down without it getting countered. That's the, that's the real goal here. Can we get this down without it getting countered? And can it survive a turn? They are probably running Exile spells like Vanishing Verse, which is going to be really, really hard for us to deal with. Um, yep, I had a feeling. If only we had Decisive Denial, but even then I didn't have enough to uh, get the job done. All right, well, no, mm, no thousand uh, Titans, unfortunately. But we do have Phylath, and Phylath can spit out a ton of 4-4 Rhinos. That could still be pretty cool. That could still be really cool. 
Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good because we have so much mana. We have expressive iterations. We're looking really nice right now. I think they forgot to play that that one turn. I'm telling you. I think they skipped over and forgot to play that. Hey, there's a decisive denial. You love to see that. That's going in our hand. That's going back in the deck. We play this. And hopefully it survives. Let's go. Let's try it again. Vanishing verse obviously on the table still. Uh, this looks like it's resolving a little bit quicker, which means... No, doesn't matter. Vanishing verse it is. That's tough. Uh, vanishing verse doesn't matter. Uh, the shield counter doesn't matter on the vanishing verse. So we're going to give the rhino for uh, the shield counter. Nice. We incentivize them to use a vanishing verse on the 4-4. Four four. That's interesting. Why would they do that? I'll be... Oh, Doomscar. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. But hey, we can get back to Titan now. That's nice. I'm glad they didn't actually exile that. That actually worked out really nicely for us. Um, three. So then we got one, two, three. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough to get back to Titan this turn. So what we're going to do here is we're going to instant speed happen on a glade, pull back the Titan, try to replay it again. That's a Doomscar. Uh, now that we know, I mean, it's the most likely that it's a Doomscar. We might actually pull off the combo here, guys. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Fine by me. I think we're going to do the exact same thing we did last time. We're going to give the shield counter to the 4-4 Rhino. And that way they it makes it tough for them to use an exile spell on the Titan. And then they go for maybe another Doomscar at full cost of 5. And we counter it with the Denial. And we should be good from there, man. Should be good from there. Titan of Industry back online. Back online. Shield counter goes here. And they don't have any instant speed magic this time. So there's no vanishing verse. That's good. Uh, March is still at instant speed though. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do have something. Ah, uh, memory delusion. All right. Could counter that. But I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather not. I think I'd rather hold up my counter for something better. Obviously though, let's say they play something uh, a little bit you know, lower cost mana. I can't counter it because they're going to have too much mana to spend to buy the tax, but a Doomscar though costs five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's hope they don't play a Doomscar here. Hopefully they go for an exile spell first and then a Doomscar like last time. And we'll be good. I think we're about to do it, guys. I think we're about to pull off the, uh, the old Combarino. This is going to be nuts if I pull this off. Obviously, Doomscar would really suck, though. But we're going to get a ton of... Uh... Interesting. We're going to get a ton of uh, shield counters, though. So hopefully they can survive. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is where we put things into full control. We drop the Phylath. The Phylath enters the field. And when it enters the field, we then play our Mystic Reflection. And we're good to go. We got ourselves three more Titan of Industries. Shield counters and four fours all day. Shield counters, four fours. Shield counters, four fours. You love to see it. Shield counter, shield counter, shield counter. <laughs> And uh, we're looking pretty solid right about now, I'd say. <laughs> Let's go. We pulled it off, guys. We pulled it off. They say good game. Don't like that. Uh, we do have shield counters, though, so hopefully we survive. If we still lose this game, I'm still pretty happy with the fact. Yeah. Okay. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. <clears throat> We still pulled off the combo. I'm pretty happy. It's not every day you run into a control deck with things like farewell. Oh, that's so brutal, though. All right, that's fine. We can reset, though. We have uh, another big memory deluge. 
We might be able to pull it off again. We'll see. We might be able to pull this off again. We have one more Titan, I believe. That's really bad. That's really bad. I didn't expect to test the talents there. <clears throat> Not good, my friend. Not good. A lot of a lot of cards you don't expect to see when uh, from your opponent here. Decisive denial. I guess the glade, but the uh, the glade's not very good here, is it? Man, farewell and doom scar. Like they're running removal tribal here, man. What's their win con? Is it just this? It's like, I don't know. Still happy though. I mean, again, we hit the combo, which you guys got a chance to see it. And uh, that's really cool. I'm, I'm just happy that that happened. All right, we'll put, put this in our hand. Go back, we'll play you. Really? Come on, game, help me out here. Help me out here. All right, let's just go to try to get the <clears throat> try to get the win in unorthodox ways. We could try to get it in unorthodox ways here. Um, let's end our turn. We'll probably play the pyre to draw cards, discard cards type thing, and uh, we'll go from there. Because the glade is not going to be helpful here. It's fine. Wow, they exile graveyard as well. I guess that's... Yeah, I think they just took their own memory deluge. Didn't they? I can't, can't remember, but I think they had a deluge in the flashback there. Test of talents. One, two, three mana left over. Fine. It's better that they test the talents that than something like the burn down the house. They're kind of thinning out the deck for us too. Um, 20 cards left. Let's see. We got a couple basics in there that we can go pull out. Um, Phylath and Titan are both in there. I mean, we got... We got a chance to hit those. Obviously, I think we just go for this, though. For now, we get in there. They're down to four. Might be able to pull this off, guys. We might be able to pull this off. Again, they're removal tribal, pretty much. God, this church doesn't move, and it's, like, stuck in a little... <laughs> it's stuck in its, like, little carpet notches. Dang it. Okay. Okay, they don't play anything here. That's kind of odd kind of odd got some more basics out of there and of course it's not enough to thin the deck out at all we draw another land we're down to 17 cards so I mean we've got to be drawing some bangers here soon right okay so they're gonna try to exile I'm assuming right just so they don't take damage and they gain life. I could. Hmm. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do, unfortunately. Ouch. The fact that they're able to just exile everything is really, really tough here. Hold breaker horror. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's going to be game. Pretty sure that's gonna be game. That's tough. Man, we have so many things we could have had here too to maybe potentially answer some of this stuff, but it just... Oh, we're drawing so bad. We're drawing so bad. I'm never done for good. <sighs> if only Decisive Denial hit creatures too, that would have been the play right there. That would have been the absolute nuts, but... And they've only got two cards in hand. It might be, they might be lands. I mean, it's, it's definitely likely. It's not impossible for sure. All right. If this is, you know, pretty tempting, I think for them to maybe, you know. I 
how how do we just draw lands here i've literally taken every land out of the deck i feel like at this point right i mean got so many spells another burn down the house could be really helpful too and instead we're just messing about here well we definitely lose. Had we gone a hole breaker horror route on this matchup instead of the Titan route, we might have stood a chance, but um Unfortunately it just wasn't it wasn't meant to be. We even got the combo off and it wasn't meant to be. That's crazy. That's all good though. Good game there. Um I still think that it was uh, a lot of fun, but we're gonna try this again. But uh maybe we'll switch to hole breaker horror now and uh see if we can get the combo off. GG. All right, this might be the first time ever that we do something like this, but we are going to be showing you guys two versions of the same deck in the same video. So now we've taken out the, you know, Titan of Industry and we've thrown in the Kraken and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. I wish we would have had the Kraken last game, though. I'm telling you guys against control, that would have been super helpful. Um, I wouldn't normally keep this, but we go first. And if we find any land at all, we can happen on the Glade and, and get the rest of the mana we need. So I'm hoping that'll get us there. Let's hope it gets us there, man. We could really use that third land. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Looking good. Here we go. You love to see it. You love to see the third land drop, man. Super helpful. We're up against Grixis. Um, could be Bombardment. I don't know. That's typically what you see when we're run, uh, when up against Grixis. Let's get a red and a blue because we need to double up on those colors. All right. We have Memory Deluge ready to go now. We have Happen on a Glade if we want to again. We're probably not going to play the Happen on a Glade though. Uh, the charm. All right, they're looking for a card. They're going to put some stuff in the yard. So this might be a reanimator deck. We'll see what they drop here. This should give us some decent amount of information here. Decent amount. All right. Yep. It's definitely going to be reanimator. Um, they have some instant speed exiling effects that cost about two to four though. So that's fairly expensive in most cases if they don't want me drawing cards. All right, let's see if we can hit some of the pieces we need here. Old breaker, nice. And I'll take both of those. Those are really great. Really, really great to the, the cause. Um. Ask the turn again. All right, I could denial that, but I'm going to let it slide. I I think we need to save the denial to save the whole breaker at, uh, you know, the late point of the game. One, two, three, four, five. We're about to be at six mana. I could get a treasure here with the Prismari command to just accelerate and get the whole breaker out one turn early. That might be worth it. Here comes a reanimation spell, I would assume, with this. That would be something we'd have to deny, though. Because they're going to get back, uh, yeah, they're going to get back a Xander. No, thank you. Another Prismari command. I don't think burn down the house is going to be very good here. I don't think it will. All right, so we got the whole breaker horror that can come in this next turn. Uh, we don't have any other pieces though, unfortunately. Would love to have, you know, the Phylath in hand, maybe a, a Mystic Reflection. Dude, I'm. I just need to get rid of this chair. It's just not. It's just not it. Gosh, I can't. I can't. I don't think I can play that. If I play this into an empty board with, and I'm tapped out, and they have full mana, like they're just going to punish me really bad for it i'm gonna go here um shoot not great not great 
looking for all the pieces here, man. I gotta copy, copy, copy the whole breaker. That's what I need right now. All right, come on. We saw the reason I'm so afraid to play the whole breaker horrors because things like this, right? They have instant speed exile target creature and we can't have that if we have no way to protect the whole breaker horror. It's like, I don't know if I really want to run it out there just to have it blown up. All right, let's do that. We have the fire laugh now, which is great. Now we just need. Now we just need Mystic Reflection. Come on, we can get it. Ah, come on. We needed that Mystic Reflection, man. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. We'll we'll pyre. A lot of you guys are probably like, why are you not playing the whole breaker or the fire last? Cause I could be playing those out and probably winning the game pretty easily at this point. Um, but I'm trying to hit the combo. I'm not, I'm not here to just win games. I'm here to try to hit the combos guys. I'm here to try to entertain. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, come on. There it is. Okay. Now we're in business. Now we're in business, baby. I probably shouldn't have foretold that, actually. I probably could have got away with playing it for two and then dropping the Pylath. Because now I don't know if I can protect my hole breaker. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one mana. Yeah, we can't protect it now. Oh, they're tapped out, though. Let's go. Um, additional cost of spell sacrifice. Pay four life. Whenever it enters battlefield, each opponent sacrifices the creature. Discard a card. Okay, we can discard a card. That's fine. We'll discard the burn down the house. We'll lose the four life. Opponent will pass the turn and then they will lose the game because what we're about to do should be absolutely illegal in Magic the Gathering. You ready for this? Phylath enters the battlefield. We're in full control. We bounce your little critter back to your hand, which not terrible value for them. They can replay it. But when Phylath enters the field, we instant speed Mystic Reflection the Horror and we got ourselves a really peculiar situation here because we now have... Five hole breaker horrors. <laughs> oh, let's go. Five hole breaker horrors with the size of denial in hand feels pretty darn good. Feels pretty darn good. That feels like a win to me, if you ask. <laughs> oh, it's such a fun deck because you can interchange the Titan and the hole breaker into the same position. And it's so nice, man. We allow it. We allow it. Dude, if you try to resolve anything on the field, it gets bounced 10,000 times. Like, it's game over, right? You would think. You would think. Nah. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> <laughs> GG's yeah I think I think if I'm being honest though I, I think I prefer the Titan because the Titan just has so many more uh, uh, utility type plays like gaining life artifact destruction that kind of things I think it's a little more useful it's just if we get into a control matchup the uh, the Kraken makes a little more sense but good game all right we bounced it back over to the Titan again I just wanted to showcase that one game with the whole breaker horror I think that was I'm pretty satisfied. And now uh, we go back to the original game plan, which is the, the Titan of industry. All right, let's go here. Yeah, I think I think I like the Titan a little bit better just because of uh, there's so much aggro going around too that I'm trying to survive a lot of the times too when we get into the late game. If we run into an aggro build like Boros, gaining five life a million times could really save your skin. So it's like, that's probably what we should be doing. Um, yikes, we need two of those cards. Uh, let's put the Phylath back in the deck and grab Mystic Reflection. Shoot. Maybe we grab the Phylath, put the Mystic Reflection back. I don't know. That's That was not ideal. You don't want to draw both of those in the, the one spell there, but it's fine. Uh, Brutal Cathar. Okay, so they are running out a little aggressive, which is good. We allow it to transform. It's fine. I'm going to go for Memory Deluge, I think, instead um, of Pyre. Because I have burned down the house. So it's like, 
if they want to play more spells, more creatures, we can blow up the board. Yeah, the greeters. There we go. I feel a little bit better about the burn down the house now. Uh, okay. All right. Burn down the house takes care of that. And now we have another iteration to go find. Hopefully, hopefully the mystic reflection. That's the goal. Man, I'm super excited for this weekend. This weekend's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm uh, I'm going golfing with my dad, which is pretty cool. We haven't been golfing in a while together. Super stoked about it. My cousin's coming, and we're gonna we're gonna make some bets because we're degenerates, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, that'll be tomorrow, though. Uh, let's see here. Put this in our hand. We need a green source, so we'll put this back. Drop this down. And then we have a uh, Prismari Command or Memory Deluge. Both seem pretty good. I think the Memory Deluge, just to make sure we find our Mystic Reflection, seems kind of nice. I think we're going to pull this combo off again. I, I really genuinely believe we're going to hit it for a third time, which is crazy because usually these types of videos where we're doing super janky things like this, hey, they don't always happen <laughs> very regularly. And this seems to be working out pretty regularly. The matchups have been pretty good, though. I'll be honest. Okay, that's fine. We have a 7-7 seven, seven Reacher, so it's all good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play it next turn, too. So, yeah, we're golden here. Um, yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. Denial. Iteration, sure. All right. Here comes the Titan. Teen Titans, go. All right, let's gain life, maybe, and then shield counter it. That seems fine. That seems a okay to me. And Phylath is only going to get one, two, three critters at the moment. They thought they were going to steal that from me, but unfortunately it's nighttime still in there before. Oh, now they can steal it though. Uh, but we untap though, and I can decide to deny or something. So that is actually even better, even better. Iteration. Where's my mystic? Where's my mystic? I need the mystic reflection, man. Otherwise, this is all for naught. If they if they concede before that, I'm going to be really upset. All right, pass the turn. Not trying to let them concede yet. We're trying to hit the move, man. Yeah, I can't have it. You can't have that. I'm sorry. Don't get upset. Please don't get too mad, I, but you can't have that. All right. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. You're going to make me deluge again? At least this time, if we deluge, there's no shot we missed the Mystic Reflection, right? Wait, if I do this, I still have enough for this. Okay. That is fine by me. Wow, we really did miss it. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? Oh, now you're going to give it to me just to... Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Control. Uh, oh, I almost dropped the wrong creature. Uh, Phylath hits the battlefield. And ladies and gentlemen, we are off to the races here. Mystic Reflection, the Titan of Industry. Yes, please. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it. Here comes the Titans, baby. Let's make it seven Titans. <laughs> and there's the scoop. <laughs> oh, nobody wants to hang around for the seven Titans. And I don't blame them. Oh, uh, that's so much fun. That's so much fun. One last game for the road, guys. Let's get it. Um, I mean, how can we not? How can we not? I, I mean, this is going so well. I don't see how we don't uh, play at least one more on the way out. I go first. I mean, yeah, I can keep this, actually. I have uh, the Glade. So if I find just one singular land, we can go ahead and find our red and blue. Yo, my nose is going crazy today. All right, they're going to think we're mono green, which is good. Because uh, we'll surprise them, <laughs> I guess. Uh, that's the problem with this deck, though, with the happen on a glade and, and the mana base. This is this is definitely something that's 
worth talking about because this could happen a lot because we have um so many basics right because we needed we needed a, an, a lot more basics than normal for happen upon the glade as well as the phylath all right let's go let's go get a red source and a blue source actually double blue yeah double blue double blue double rainbow baby all right excuse me i gotta blow my nose or something this is going crazy my nose is off the charts And my apologies, we are back. All right. Oh, I want a pyre, but I don't know if maybe they're going to put a wall encounter on the greeters. That would be kind of cool. Things aren't looking super good right now. Um, things aren't looking great. All right, Mr. Galley Greeter. Oh, that was the wrong button. 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 Oh no, you cannot tell me I just did that. Bruh. What is wrong with me? That was a mistake, guys. If you can't tell, if you can't tell, that was a pretty big, pretty big error on my end. Um, it might work out okay though. We have the Prismara Command. Which will get us into a Titan a turn early. I'm going to do this now before I make a mistake again. Unbelievable. I can't believe I did that. I, I That's what you get. You, mean, you click a little too quickly. You think you remember which side of the card is which. Like burn down the house has the devils. They have the burn. And you just click off the top of your brain like, yeah, I got it. You don't think things through. Gosh darn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna gain five life. We're gonna blow this thing up. We're gonna have a good blocker. We should be okay. I hope. I really, really hope, but if we're not okay, it's my own fault. We might have to play the Phylath out just to get the one one or the O one critters. Um Maybe we don't care about this. Maybe we get a four four blocker as well. Yeah, maybe we get the 4-4 blocker to block the Asikas Cherry. Obviously, I know that would allow them to create another cat, but I think this also deters them from even attacking him with the Asikas Cherry, because why would they want to run it into the Titan of Industry? So having an extra blocker might be might be more important. I don't know. That could have been completely wrong. I'm up for that as a debate for sure. Um, Apparition doesn't grab anything, so that's good. Kind of a, a dead card. That's just a 2-2. Two -two. Again, if I drop a Phylath here, that's pretty solid, even without a Mystic Reflection. Obviously, we want the Mystic Reflection, but... Okay. Yikes. So they are going to bring down the Chariot still and run it right into the 4-4, which they're going to get a token out of. Actually, I have to block... I have to block the Gala Greeters. That's brutal. Oh, it doesn't matter. They got lethal either way. GG's ouch. I wish I would have played the <laughs> I wish I would have played the pyre correctly. That might have been a different game for sure. That's tough. I can't believe I ended the game like that. That's on my that's my bad guys. That'll happen though. Misplays do happen here. GG's. We'll see you guys at the deck breakdown. We'll see you at the end. That is going to conclude today's gameplay footage, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I absolutely had a blast playing this for you guys today. Um, copying, copying Titan of Industry that many times felt so glorious. It was honestly such a, such a fun way to end any type of a game. That's the kind of stuff we love to do around here. If you guys are new here, we like to try to do a little bit more outlandish things that are not necessarily meta, but we try to make them as competitive as possible. Um, but ultimately, I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, I'd really appreciate it. But I also want to just say before we break this thing down in full, if you are 
still here, I want to give you a big shout out because that helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I do really appreciate that a lot. Um, let's talk about it, man. So we all know that this, uh, we all know this deck's jank. It is. It's a jank deck. It's not something you're going to run up and just, you know, blow everyone away and mythic with it. It's just not going to happen. Um, it can use some tuning, I'm sure, here and there. Um, this was one of those decks where, you know, teamer, teamer's tough because you want to you want to grow your mana base obviously to get into a big phylath and and copy the titan that's the whole goal of the deck so in order to do that you know you're building your mana base your opponent's getting advantage on board usually um through creatures things like that being aggressive getting mid-rangey and growing whatever it may be so you really need a lot of like removal and spot spot you know removal things like that uh to kind of help you get to that end game and teamer just doesn't offer that teamer doesn't offer a whole lot of uh removal spells there's a lot of burn spells a lot of bounce spells you can get creative with like fading hopes you know you got you got a ton of burn spells to choose from but a lot of the times it's not as good and as clean as you know you know like esper has you know vanishing versus for two mana basically exile almost anything like there's a lot of really good options in other colors for removal whether it be white or black you got exiles um you got a lot of different choices but with with red you're kind of stuck to burn which can be a little bit i don't know what the word i'm looking for limited it can be limited on on options on, on what you can do but um ultimately that's my biggest gripe with the deck is that it, it just it, it it lacks it lacks enough control i think to be consistent enough to get to your end game and then pop off with your combo because again you got to assemble all three pieces of this puzzle in order to pop off but you guys did see that it did have a pretty good backup plan and just playing the the titan outright or just playing the phylath outright playing the phylath is no joke you can play this card out just create the plants and start playing some lands right away you can you can have a lot of success with that i mean that's that's another way you can just win the game outright but um i don't know i feel like it needs a little bit more options to be honest but Ultimately, I'm not too sure exactly what I would do to, uh, you know, better the better up the list because I feel like I've got it dialed in pretty good. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, definitely, definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys would do to make the list better. Also, let me know maybe if you like the whole breaker combo better or the Titan of Industry, or if you have another creature that you'd prefer to play. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on on what that would be. But um, yeah, guys, that will conclude today's video and before i get out of here i just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to my mardu mob the mardu mob is a group of people here that are on the membership program on the channel we call it the mardu mob these guys help support the channel through their financial memberships every month with the five dollars so i want to say thank you to them every single time to make sure that they know how much i do appreciate them and everything they do for me and uh helping keep this channel going man so i really do appreciate you guys if you guys want to learn more about the mardu mob join button down below next to the subscribe button or a link in the description it'll tell you all the details but that's it guys we'll see you on the next video which will be tomorrow we have a whole week of bangers trust me i just finished recording friday's video this week's gonna be fun but we'll see you guys in the next one till then peace Like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best X to the meta. This ain't cheap.